Okay, hello everyone, welcome to Quick Quizzes, uh, episode two. This week we've got Graham Taylor with us. Oh yeah. How you doing, man? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Excellent. Uh, Graham is a really good friend of mine uh, from Falmouth and he is also a quiz master. He's done probably 30% of the quizzes this year, the ones that I haven't been able to do, uh, along with like me and Colin. Graham is also a conceptual artist, is that? Yeah. Accurate, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. cool, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's really kindly agreed to come and do some quick quizzing with us here today. So, outside of uh, doing quizzes and things, what do you usually do? Uh, I don't know, at the moment, a lot of cleaning, which is really boring. That's you do a bit of everything, really. Yeah, there's a bunch of other stuff like like sound performance things with patch traditional nicotine tingles, um, bits of writing making clothes like this mess that I'm wearing at the moment. We can plug all of that yeah. at the end of the bottom. <laughs> um, what other stuff do we Yeah, just like various arts and stuff. And you've been doing some lecturing recently oh, as well, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. yeah, yeah, some lecturing at the uni. That's cool. Um, Happy days. Yeah. Well, on to the yeah, important stuff. How do you rate yourself as a quizzer? I don't know. It's hard to tell because the team we're normally on pretty strong yeah so it's hard to know whether the how much you're actually contributing but i feel uh, i don't know all, all right it is like all like all quizzes are a bit like hit and miss like if you know it you know it if you don't you don't like yeah. some of them you can work out and stuff but either way um well hopefully we'll see how well you do today and i mean there's only one other person that's done this, which is Colin Ramsey, and he got 24 out of 50. So okay. we will see how you do in terms of that. But in case you don't know, here's how it's going to go. So I've got 30 questions for you with rapid fire general knowledge questions. Now, there's no time limit for me to ask all those questions, but you've got 10 seconds <laughs> off at the end of every question to try and answer it. Which okay. means I don't have to rush the questions and you get you know, a fair chance at each one of them. Uh, then after that, we've got 15 questions on your chosen specialist subject, which is today contemporary art. Yeah, from 1960s. From 60s onwards, yeah. Yeah, which I only researched and looked up like last night. But there was like loads of stuff that I was looking at, which is like, Van Gogh and Dali and stuff like that as well. And I was like, ah, I can't use any of that because it's too uh, re not reasoned enough. Um, but it was actually really interesting to do. So it'll be interesting to see how many of those you get. <laughs> but again, last week Colin did Colin's Star Trek one and he got four out of 15. And he's a confessed Star Trek nerd. So we'll, we'll see. So after you've had your 30 general knowledge questions and then your 15 specialist subject questions, then you've got five super hard questions which are just chucked in at the end and Colin got zero on that last week so <laughs> no pressure really um, but we shall see how it goes uh, so I'm going to accept your first answer on every question so make sure it counts but you've got 10 seconds to answer every question apart from that ready yeah okie dokie let's go question number one <laughs> the word pulmonary relates to which of the body's organs uh Lungs? Yes, correct. Well done. I realised I said organs as a plural there, so I gave you an sort of extra clue. <laughs> didn't but, I well, I didn't know it was an extra clue, either way. <laughs> Question number two. Which US senator was famous for his 1950s witch hunts? Um, senator John McCarthy. Joseph McCarthy? But I'll, no, I'll take McCarthy. That, that is so close, because John and Joseph is kind of, yeah, yeah, McCarthy. <laughs> You got the important bit. Uh, question number three. What type of vehicle is a Chinook? Chinook. Um, is that a helicopter? It is a helicopter, yes. It's the military helicopter with like two sets of rotor plates. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah. so yeah. Question four. The mystery of the body in the library was solved by which fictional sleuth? Oh, God. Uh, Five seconds. Power? No, that was Miss Marple. Uh, question number five. Which actress starred in the lead role in the 2008 film The Duchess? Uh, is it Keira Knightley? It was Keira Knightley, yes. Well done. Uh, number six. Which five-line humorous verse is named after a place in Ireland? Limerick. Is the right answer? Yes, indeed. Uh, that's question number six. Question number seven. 
The Bernabeu Football Stadium is located in which city? Uh, I know nothing about football. Uh, Five seconds. Barcelona. Oh, close. It's in Madrid. So you're in the right. You're in the right country. <laughs> Out of 215 countries, you got the right one. But no, it's in Madrid. Okay. Question number eight. What is the first name or names of the Bond villain Blofeld? No. Henry. No. <laughs> His name is Ernst Stavro Blofeld. Uh, okay. But either way. <laughs> Question number nine. What is the monetary unit of Denmark and Norway? Krona. Is correct, yes. They use the krona as opposed to the euro or anything else. Uh, moving on. Number ten. Mills and Boone are famous for publishing which kind of novels? It's romance. Yes. Or smut, as some people <laughs> might say. Uh, number eleven. What is the capital city of Austria? Uh, Vienna? Yes, it is. Uh, next one, number 12. Who wrote the tale of Peter Rabbit? Beatrix Potter. Yes, she did. Uh, number 13. What is the name of the French national anthem? Ooh. Uh, Five seconds. I have no idea. Yeah, no idea. What it is La Marseille. La Marseille. Uh, apparently that's how you pronounce it, but either way. <laughs> Okay, 14. Which black wood is used for piano keys? Ebony. Is the right answer. Uh, da, 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 da. Number 15. What is the name of the Queen of England's youngest son? Uh, Edward. Is right, yes. Well done. Uh, moving on. Number 16. What would you measure with a protractor? Angles. Yes, you would. We all had them in school, a little uh, <laughs> shape things like that. Uh, da, 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 da. 16. 17. If you mix blue and yellow paint, what colour is generally made? Green. Yes, it is green. Well done. <laughs> uh, number 18. What do the initials PLC stand for after an organisation's name? Uh, public Limited Company? Yes, it is. Well done. Well done. Uh, number 19. What type of creature was Baloo in The Jungle Book? Uh, a bear. He was a bear. Yes, he did. Uh, da, 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 da. Number 20. Who wrote the novel Animal Farm? George Orwell. Yes, he did. One there. Uh, number 21. Which car company manufactures the Focus? Ford. Yes, they do. Uh, number 22. On which Caribbean island is the Bay of Pigs? Um, Cuba. Yep, it is on Cuba. Uh, number 23. Who is Lacey's partner in the 1980s detective show? Ooh. Yeah. No, it's Cagney. It's Cag uh, Cagney yeah. and Lacey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of thing. Okay, 24. What do Americans call an estate agent? Realtor? They do, they call it a realtor. Yes, indeed. Um, 25. What colour usually are sapphires? Blue. Yes, they are. Just to let you know, you're on 20 points, which is equal to what Colin got, and you've still got... Five more questions. Ooh. So nearly beating Colin already. Uh, Twenty-six. Pyrophobia is a fear of what? Is it a fear of fire? It is a fear of fire. Yes. It's, to to it's <laughs> weird because pyro. Yeah, for ending a phobia, it always never sounds like what the actual yeah. word is. But yeah, pyrophobia. That no, is yes. Okay, twenty-seven. Which code word goes between kilo and Mike? Five seconds. I can't even think of the alphabet. <laughs> Lima? Is right, yes, <laughs> just about. I'll give you that. I was, I was listening to the clock tick and I was like, that's, that's nine, nine minutes, seconds. <laughs> you were like, Lima? <laughs> okay. Um, yes, it is. It's Lima. Well done. Yeah. Uh, kilo, Lima, Lima, Mike. Uh, 28. What are the first two letters of Bodmin's postcode? Uh... B-O? No. <laughs> no, it is not B-O. Uh, Bodmin is P-L. It's, uh, it's the, the furthest down, like, P-L postcode, uh, basically. Still, yeah. Um, 29. Thurrock, Toddington, Southwaite and Bridgewater were rated amongst the UK's worst what? Five 
five seconds. Place names? Place names? No, not quite. Well. They're, they're none of them particularly great <laughs> place names. Uh, they are all rated amongst the UK's worst service stations. Oh, okay. But you've only been driving for like three months, yeah. so you, you've yet to find out all this wonder. Sure, yeah. And question thirty: Who played James Bond in the film Octopussy? Uh, Sean Connery. Wrong. Oh. Unfortunately, it was Roger Moore. That was a bit of a stab in the dark. Yeah, <laughs> back then, it's, sort of, it's either Roger Moore, Sean Connery, or George Lazenby. It's one of those three. <laughs> but you got 22 points. Well done. I wish we had a higher production value so there could be like fireworks going on <laughs> and stuff. But we don't. So either way. Um, cool. That was good. Smash through that. Feeling okay? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Well, with that in mind, we've done, yeah, 22 out of that. We'll go straight on to the contemporary art rounds. So, in terms of art, what does the word contemporary actually mean? Uh, I don't know how to, it's kind of, <laughs> it's more of a like, well I guess contemporary means that it's happening at the moment or it's like potentially more progressive. I guess as a term it's sort of replaced like avant-garde that was like, that was like the big word in like the yeah. 20s like or the like before that like the Ardar and surrealism and stuff like we're avant-garde and then there was this big thing in the 60s with the death of the avant-garde so I guess like contemporary is like thing the work being made that's like either most relevant to society and culture now or is pushing things in new ways or has done or what well, is like basic level it's like things that's been made most recently I guess. Mm. Is it different from modern art, or is it? Yeah, modernism, like modern art kind of like relates to like modernism, which is kind of like what happened, like the kind of period of art between like Manet painting the Olympia mm. in like the late uh, 20th century, so like, no, late 19th century. Numbers are confusing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> till like, I guess like the 60s, like, um, Kind of the rise in conceptual, and then mm. things became much more referential, and then like kind of that becomes like the birth of postmodernism. Okay, which we're potentially still in now. Do you know what? I actually feel like I just learned something. <laughs> That's which is quite cool. Um, however, the questions I'm about to ask you are going to have a much more trivia kind of esque edge to them. So they're um, yeah, they're going to have a lot of very short answers, nice. but. Got 15 questions for you here on what I understand to be contemporary art. So if you're ready, <clears throat> we'll get started. So, question number one. And some of these questions are quite long. Okay. There, with it's only when they finish that you have to start asking them. So, question number one. In 2016, David Shrigley unveiled the fourth plinth installation in Trafalgar Square. What did he do? <laughs> Um, did five seconds? Did he invite people to become sculptures, living sculptures on the plinth? No, he didn't. He made a giant, I mean, like eight foot tall, thumbs up. Oh yeah, like that had a really long thumb. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why? Why he did that? I don't know, but we'll see. Question number two: Which anonymous monkey-related art activism group was formed in 1985 in New York, dedicated to raising awareness of sexism in the art industry? Gorilla Girls. Gorilla Girls. Yes, indeed. I had never heard of them until yesterday when I looked them up. They're but really great. Oh, excellent. Good. Glad you know. <laughs> okay. Number three: Sir Nicholas Sorota is the current chair of which body? Um, Arts Council England. Yes, he is. Excellent. Question number four. Name the Mexican surrealist artist born in Mexico City, 1907. Um, Frida Kahlo? Is correct, yes, indeed. Number five. Photographer and artist Emmanuel Radnitsky was better known by what pseudonym? Um, is that Man Ray? That is Man Ray, yes, indeed. Well done. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, question six. Um, this is really like dragging things into the dirt because it's about Twitter and MPs. Um, yes. <laughs> question six. Which MP described the Turner Prize as modish crap? Ooh. Uh, was it Boris Johnson? No, I thought it was Johnson <laughs> as well, but it was, it was close. It was Michael Gove. Uh. Um, so, Two yeah. in the pod. Don't, I don't think you feel bad about not knowing <laughs> that. So, yeah, either way. Number seven, 
What was the name of the 1988 exhibition in London's Docklands that spawned the YBA, or Young British Artists Movement? Um, was it Sensations? No, uh, although that does appear in a later question. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was called Freeze. Oh, of course, um, yeah. So, yeah, it was that one. Uh, question eight, which artist produced the film Exit Through the Gift Shop? Banksy. That was Banksy. Yes, number five. You've beaten Colin already. Well done. Uh, number six. Following her long teaching career at the Slade School in London, which sculptor represented Britain at the Venice Biennial in 2017? Phil de Barlow. It is indeed Phil de Barlow. Yes. I really struggled to pronounce her name. Um, but I'm glad you got it right. Yes, it was Phil de Barlow. Uh, number ten. Which artist created the work Everyone I Have Ever Slept With, 1963 to 1995? Tracy Emin. That is correct, Tracy Emin. You're smashing these. <laughs> Number 11. Which artist created the work Mother and Calf Divided? Uh, that was Damien Hurst. That was Damien Hurst, yes. Number 12. Which band has been closely linked with the artist known as Banksy? Ooh. I've got no idea. No? No. Not whatsoever? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, the answer to that is Massive Attack. Um, oh, yeah, Bristol. Well, it's basically every time one of his pieces of art has occurred, appeared around the world, it's coincided with Massive Attack's touring dates. And in fact, at Extinction Rebellion in London, the protest recently, Massive Attack were there performing with them. And literally an hour later, this you know huge mural appeared on one of the walls, uh, which is a you know, certified Banksy. So... Yeah, it's basically people think that Rob Del Naha from uh, Massive Attack is Banksy. It's like the best, closest idea anyone has. But either way, so yeah, one bit of trivia for you. Yeah, uh, question 13. Which artist is famous for creating a repeating image of Andre the Giant as well as creating the clothing label Obey? Uh, um, is that Shepherd Fairy? That is Shepherd Fairy. Yes, well done. Uh, number 14. Who did Marcus Harvey create a large collage image of for the Sensation Exhibition, an image that caused widespread controversy due to its subject matter? So who did he create the picture of? Yeah, um, I can't remember the name of the person. It was a serial killer, I think, one of the, not like the Moore's murders, but... Five uh, seconds? Yeah, I can't remember. It's You're so close. close. It was one of the Moore's murders, it was Myra Hindley. Oh, yeah. yeah. A famous collage photo, which everyone went crazy about. Mm -hmm. And number 15, which British artist is most famous for creating the sculpture known as the Angel of the North? Anthony Gormley. Anthony Gormley, indeed. Graham, you got 10 out of 15 there. <laughs> so that was amazing. Well done. For his art school. Yeah. <laughs> a complete waste. How, how did you, how, yeah, how did you feel about that? I, I, were those like relevant questions to yeah. like what you do? Yeah, okay, that's cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad because I was writing and thinking you'll probably know these, but I don't know if they're what you like <laughs> wanted as your specialist subject. But no, that's good. either way, they're there. Okay, cool. Happy days. Right. Well, we are okay. We're getting on good for time. As your brains are warmed up now, we will smash straight on into the extra hard round. Now, Colin got nothing on this, so don't <laughs> worry about it. But. You, you, just get something, I don't know, we'll see. So these are five questions we've just put in which are extra, extra hard, and we'll see how they go. So currently you are on 32, so doing really well. You've already beaten Colin, nothing else you need to play for, but let's see if we can get you any extra points here. You get one point for every one of these questions as well, so it's nothing massively special, but let's see how we go. So, question number one in the extra hard round. Who founded the Death Row music label along with Suge Knight? I have no idea. No idea? No idea. Do you want to guess? Uh, no. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> embarrassing <laughs> if I guess. Uh, it's Dr. Dre. Ah, so, yeah, uh, that's a person. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, question number two. What was actor Oliver Reed's real first name? These are really hard. I know, right? <laughs> um, Five seconds. Jason. No, it was Robert. Ah. I suppose Robert Reed probably sounds a bit meh. Yeah. Okay, question number three. In which Woody Allen movie did Madonna play a trapeze artist? I'm trying to just think of 
Woody Allen films at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Five seconds. I, I can't think of that. Enough. No. Uh, Shadows and Fog, oh. which is a film I've never even heard of. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, everyone's uh, favourite subject now, popes. Uh, from 1903 to 1958, every pope, apart from one, took which name? Five seconds. Um... Pious. It's the right answer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know how we were on time then, but I'm gonna I'm gonna allow you that because that makes you the first person to get an extra hard question right. It was Pope Pius. They all styled themselves that, apart from one of them. Okay, and last one. Uh, you've got about a one in fifty-two chance of getting this right. Okay. Uh, one in fifty-one, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, so, question five: In which U.S. state is John F. Kennedy buried? Ooh. Uh. Kentucky? No, he is not buried in Kentucky. <laughs> um, which is always a fun state to say, Kentucky. Yeah. Uh, no, he's buried in Virginia, apparently. So, yeah, there we go. But I guess, I guess are most presidents buried in Virginia? Because that's like where Washington is. I don't, yeah, I don't know. If you know why JFK <laughs> is buried in Virginia, then do let us know in the comments below. Well, Graham Taylor, you got 33 points out of 50 nice. there. Which was uh, eight more than Colin did. So, you know, happy days. Yeah. Was it six, seven, eight? No, nine more. Wow. Smashing run. Right <laughs> How do you feel about that? Yeah, pretty happy. Quite Excellent. Relieved about the R round. I was getting worried about that. I think, yeah. I mean, I'm relieved about it as well because I'm relieved I didn't write you and ask <laughs> really stupid questions. <laughs> But either way, um, so yeah, that was episode two of Quick Quizzes with Graham Taylor. Uh, if you'd like to be a part of Quick Quizzes, then give me a message because, um, well, I've already asked Colin and Graham and they're the two most intelligent people I know, so I need other people now. Um, so yeah, if you want to be a part of it, give us a shout. If you think you did better than Graham in this, let us know the scores that you got below, be honest though. And other than that, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to subscribe, that'd be lovely. And we'll see you next week. Thanks, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.